Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we will be learning that how JUnit is being plugged in with the Eclipse framework. Eclipse is an IDE using which developer can develop any software or any application in different different languages like Java or C Sharp. You can also use Eclipse to write JUnit test cases. For that, you need to configure your JUnit with your Eclipse framework and you need to follow the following steps. So the very first step is you need to download the JUnit archive which will be consisting of JUnit jar file. It will be having JUnit say, space some version number dot jar file. This jar file you need to configure with your project in which you are going to write unit test cases. So you need to set JUnit environment in your Eclipse project. For that you need to right click your JUnit project. Then you need to click on build path, then you need to click on configure build path and in library option you need to set add external jar and you need to import JUnit's jar file. After importing JUnit jar file, the third step is you need to verify the JUnit installation in Eclipse. So after importing the JUnit jar file, you need to write some test cases and execute it to check whether your JUnit has been properly plugged in in your Eclipse framework or not. Now we will see all these things practically in your computer system and we follow the steps to configure JUnit with our Eclipse framework. Let us see that how we can include JUnit framework into Eclipse projects. So for the, that thing, very first thing you need to do is download Eclipse. So here is the link. Please follow the link to download the Eclipse package and then click on this download button. Your download should be started and it is about 251 of MB. So you should download this zip folder and you should wait until the folder is being downloaded. So wait for the folder to be downloaded. Please keep in mind that JUnit comes in built with Eclipse project. So we will be seeing that how you can create JUnit test case directly. And if you have not created any JUnit test case directly, whenever you are converting it to JUnit, it will be asking to install jar. So we can also do that thing also. Now our Eclipse has been downloaded. So just right click on it and go show to folders. Here is our Eclipse. So just cut this zip file, place it in C folder extract this zip file over here once the files have been extracted click on that folder click on Eclipse folder you will be having one application icon that is Eclipse you don't need to install it you just need to double click to launch it so just double click on it and your Eclipse will be launched whenever you are launching Eclipse for the first time it will ask you to create workspace where all your created projects will be saved so this is the default folder if you want to change it you can change it from here Otherwise, just click on OK. The workspace folder will be created in the specified path and your Eclipse will be launched. As you launched the Eclipse, this is the package explorer where your all folder, project folder, directory and hierarchy will be relying. This is the task list. You can close which you don't want. Now, whenever you are creating new Java project, you can click on file, new Java project. Just give one proper name.
you will be having one default folder now whenever you want to create any JUnit file Eclipse comes inbuilt with JUnit so JUnit is already there so just right click click on new and you will be having one option that is JUnit test place so just click on it whenever you are providing this you need to provide one file name say JUnit test demo for example you will be having all the methods that is set up before class, tear down after class, set up and tear down. Whatever method you want, just click on it, click on finish. And whenever you are finishing the thing, they will ask that whether you want to add JUnit Ford library into build path. If you click OK, then it will automatically be added to your project. So click on OK. Over here the method that you have checked are already created and by default one test method is created. So this is how JUnit can be plugged in with Eclipse. Even if you have not imported any file then and you want to import this JUnit file then right click, go to build path, go to configure build path, in that go to libraries, click on add external jars and find your J unit. So here is J unit 4.10. You can open it and you can append it with your project to run it as J unit test case. But you won't be needing it anymore as J unit is plugged in with Eclipse. So this is how we do it with Eclipse. And this is how J unit is being installed with Eclipse. Thank you.